Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be learning how to draw and then paint some fall leaves. We are gonna be doing three different leaves, birch, maple, and oak leaves. Okay, so the things you're gonna need first, you are gonna need paper, and if you are painting on it after, it may need to be a bit thicker paper so it can hold the water and paint. Then you're gonna need a pencil and an eraser. This is my funny looking eraser. <laughs> you will also need a paintbrush and paint. If you're gonna paint it, you don't have to though. And then a Sharpie black marker to go over your pencil sketch. I know some people are a little bit hesitant about using Sharpie markers with kids as young as kindergarten, but they can totally do it and it makes their work really bold. So it's great to use. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw our leaves. So we're gonna do three leaves in a row. The first thing we need to draw is the vein going down the middle. So we're gonna draw one long line, not too long, but long enough. Then almost about halfway up, just leaving some space for the stem here, you're gonna do a little, a little mark right there. And that's gonna tell you where the leaf part is gonna begin. So this is the stem and this is the leaf. Now for the birch leaf, it's kind of like an upside down heart or even a teardrop shape. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start at the point here and you're going to come down and make this big curve and then come right in where you make that mark. Okay, and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And if it's not perfect or not symmetrical, that's okay. Okay, same thing on this side. And if I turn it around, I'll show you it kind of looks like on an upside down heart or a heart if you turn it upside down. Okay, so there's our leaf. Very, very simple. That's a birch leaf. Okay, for our next leaf, we're gonna get a little bit more tricky here and we're gonna do a maple leaf. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw another straight line right here. Then we're gonna draw a line coming across. It's not gonna be as long as this. It's gonna be a bit shorter, but coming straight across. And this is kind of the bottom of the leaf. Next, you're gonna draw two more lines. So right where these two lines meet, right here, you're gonna draw one line coming up diagonally this way, and one line coming up diagonally this way. So it look, should look kind of like a V here. And you should have one, two, three, four, five lines. Now on the tips of all of these lines, you're gonna draw three triangles. You're gonna have one big one in the middle, so like this, and then two smaller ones on the side. One, two, like that, okay? So let's do it on all of them. One big triangle, and then two small triangles. One big triangle, two small triangles. And then here, one big triangle, two small ones. Last one, like that. Okay, now we're gonna connect them. So we wanna connect this line and this line, and we're just gonna draw kind of like a U shape, a little scoop to connect them, scoop. And then here, this one is a little further away, so we can even do another little point and scoop, and then a little point and scoop. And then here, we're just gonna come right in, and you can do another little point here at the bottom if you want to, like that. And there is your maple leaf, okay? Our last leaf that we're gonna sketch out is an oak leaf. So again, we're starting with that vein down the center, okay? And then we're gonna draw six lines. We're gonna draw one, two, three, four, and then uh, these ones are gonna be a little bit smaller, five, six. They're a little bit shorter than these ones. And now we're just going to draw kind of like these curvy mountains all around these lines. So you're going to draw kind of like a mountain like that. Come in, come out, draw a mountain around that line. In, out, in, out, and then come right down and meet the stem of the leaf. Again, the other side, around those lines, in, out, scoop, meat right there. And that's it. That is how you draw these leaves. It's super simple. Okay, so now once you have your sketch outline, you are going to outline it with your marker. 
so for the birch leaf, let's start with our little vein down the middle and then the stem. You can actually make the, if you want to, you can just do it a nice like soft line, but you can actually make them kind of jagged. Just move your hand kind of wiggly and then give it a jagged edge like that. And then we're going to do the veins in the middle. So these, you're just going to have lines coming off the center stem or vein right in the middle like that. It's like you're drawing V's over and over again and making them pretty big. They're gonna to touch either side. And there is your birch leaf. Let's start with our stem here. You can draw your other veins like that. And then when we're outlining, you can make them pointy like this or you can scoop in between the triangles. So you can scoop, scoop, scoop. So there, there's a little bit more of a curve to them. But if you don't want to do that, if it's too hard, just make it like straight lines like that if you want. I kind of like the way it looks when you scoop it. But it's your leaf. It's totally up to you. Like that. And then you're going to draw the veins on this one. So here's a point. You're going to draw a line coming from that point there. And then draw another one in the middle here. Draw a V coming on this side, kind of down the lines like that. Like that, and you can even draw a couple more if you want, like there, that's your maple leaf. Okay, and then the last one, the vein, I like to do a little kind of circle at the bottom, a tiny, tiny one, just to, you know, leaves kind of have that little bump on the end of their stems. Follow our lines, follow our little scoopy mountains. And there you go. That's it, very, very simple. And remember, if it doesn't turn out perfect or the way you want it to, try again and just keep practicing. Now you can erase your pencil marks underneath if you want. And if you'd like to paint your leaves, we can move on to that step. So for this, I like using watercolor. You can use whatever paints you have. If you have those watercolor like paint pucks, you can use those too, those work great. And we're gonna do a fun technique called wet on wet and I love doing this. So you're gonna take your brush and you're gonna take your water. So you should have a water cup or a water jar and you're gonna fill in your whole leaf. Now, if you're painting, this is why you need to make sure you're using like a Sharpie or a permanent black marker, because if you're using a washable marker, the ink will kind of spread everywhere and it won't work, it won't stay put. Okay, so our whole leaf is wet. Don't worry about getting inside the lines. If you can, that's great. If you can't, that's okay too. It can be more of a loose abstract piece. And then you're gonna pick the colors that you want for your leaf. So a birch tree, I think they're usually like yellow and green, usually green and then they start to turn a bit yellow. So I'm gonna grab some yellow and I'm just gonna dab it onto the wet surface of my leaf, okay? And you'll see that the color kind of explodes. So if you put color on top of a wet surface, the watercolor explodes and it looks really cool. Now I'm gonna wash off my brush. Make sure you wash off your brush before you get a new color and I'm gonna get some green. So it's like the leaf was turning from green to yellow and I'm just gonna tap some green into my leaf and watch it kind of bloom like that. Wash off your brush, dry it. I have really dirty water right now, but always wash off your brush, dab it on the bottom and then run it against the side to get all that excess water off. You can even tap it on your paper towel if you have that with you. That just helps with your water control a bit like that. And there you go. Okay, let's do our maple leaf. Again, clean water. Or not clean water. My water is kind of dirty. Just water, <laughs> whatever water you have. Fill in your maple leaf and it doesn't have to be right in the lines. It can be a little bit out if you want. It's okay. And then pick your color. I like a nice bright red for my maple leaves. And I'm just gonna tap it in there and watch how it blooms. See how it kind of explodes? It looks so cool. 
Maybe I'll grab a little bit of darker red here. Move it around. And you can just mix colors in your leaf. Let's wash it off and get a little bit of orange. Just little dots. Whatever works for you. And there you go. Last but not least is our oak leaf. So I think we're going to do, pick whatever colors you want. Fall colors are great for this, especially because it's fall right now. So I'm going to pick, I think, yellows and oranges. So again, just dropping in that color, dabbing it on that wet surface. I'm going to grab some orange. Watch that. Look at that how it kind of just explodes. And another fall color I really like using, especially with leaves, is brown. So you can drop it in here too, on your maple leaf, even a little bit on the birch leaf if you want, like that. Move your color around, however you like it. And there you go. That's how you simply draw and paint some fun fall leaves. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you guys liked it and I hope you learned something. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you guys have any more ideas on things you'd like to learn how to draw, let me know in the comments below. Have a great day, guys. Bye.